Hello everybody, I hope you are all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be going through Bitcoin and Litecoin for you all, the two coins that I've been mostly trading today. So um, yeah, I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. Um, so yeah, let's go over Bitcoin first, obviously the star of the show, as always, King Bitcoin. Uh, what can we see here? Okay, so I'm going to give you like a totally unbiased view, okay, although I am very much biased to the bull side at the moment, I've been buying up the dips and that has been working very nicely for me. I'm going to try and give you an unbiased view. So um yeah, here we go. So where can we see? What what can we see on the charts here? Okay, so simply looking at the charts, we can see there's a clear sell wall really between 8,180 up to that 8,400. So you're seeing that $200 region of a really big sell wall. Okay, so you've got a lot of supply in the market at this point. Okay, so one could argue that this is this is the region of supply in the market. Okay, and that is a good area to sell. On the flip side, I would argue, in my case, we have been holding the 382 Fibonacci level, which in an uptrend is a key support level. Okay, the 382 is a good level to be buying. Okay, obviously, when we look at the bottom of wave two, when we take our fibs from the bottom of wave two to the top of wave three, and you know, perfectly, we obviously had that 382 retracement on this wick, which was such a good buy opportunity with that CME futures gap being filled as well. Okay, and then after we obviously filled that gap, we obviously went from our lower wick fibs up to that swing high that was formed, retracing perfectly to the 382, which gave such a good buy opportunity again. Okay, and that was a quick 7% flip up to this region of, of supply again. So that's, you know, just quickly flipping in and out of position. Well, not quickly, this is like over a day position, but, you know, just flipping into the demand up to the supply. And it's as simple as that. Um, so then on like a smaller term vision, okay, that I would give you all now, okay, you are really looking to try and crack 8,200 with volume okay so that's key for me we're obviously seeing declining volume at the moment okay so you see volume is declining as this is going along again if you're looking at this as an ascending triangle although it is not an ascending triangle obviously in an ascending triangle you get declining volume until you reach the apex and break okay Okay, so what we're wanting to see here, here, if the price is to break to the upside, we need to see an increase in volume. Okay, so that's a requirement to, to, to break up from this resistance. Okay, we need to see some buyers, you know, force through the price up here and get through that demand. Okay, okay, get through that supply. Apologies. Okay, and on the flip side, for me, we're seeing 7,800 as key support. 7,800 is really, really key support in this level. Okay, you can just see you know, you're in this now really tight range of, of, of a lot of demand and a lot of supply creeping up together. And this is where you get your apex. And that's when you're going to get the big break. Okay. So obviously, for an unbiased view that I'll give you, you, you know, you really would, would want to be playing the apex, you know, the break of this of this pattern that we're in. Okay. And that's either, a, you know, for me, I like trading off of these parallel channels, obviously. So a break from the parallel, but then really the key support is 7,800. So a break from that would obviously not necessarily be bearish on the macro, but short term looking for those sort of scalp uh, short trades, definitely. Okay. And obviously, if we can keep, you know, hammering away at this resistance line, then that's going to weaken. The more times you test a resistance, the weaker it gets. One can undeniably not really argue that this resistance has been tested multiple, multiple times now. And obviously, there's only so much people can sell, okay, before the price goes up and, you know, there's there's too much demand and you, you break through that supply and you go on to the next area of supply, which for me, you know, obviously you have a, a few resistances before 10,000, but 10,000 being the big one. Uh, you obviously have, you know, firstly, just slightly above you that 8,400. Then you're moving on to really around 9,092. And then but after that, you know, it's a clear run to that sort of 9, 8, 10K region. So, um, yeah, those are nice targets for the upside. But obviously, firstly, we need, do need to get through this, this sell wall that's going on. Um, and that I do think we could see over the weekend. It's either going to be one of, you know, you're either going to get a, a quiet weekend slowly. And that will be obviously brilliant for altcoins. Or we are going to get some big volatility. And obviously, then the altcoins don't do so well. Uh, speaking of altcoins, obviously, today was Litecoin's time to shine. And Binance coin, by the way. Yeah, Binance was nice. I forgot about that. Uh, but that was a nice triangle that broke to the upside for a quick gain. Uh, but yeah, basically, but on 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 the, here on Litecoin, this is against the B uh, BTC pair, which I like trading at the moment. Um, you obviously have this key weekly support level, which we had that Darth Vader candle onto the weekly support. Okay, so you obviously get your swing failure pattern. You come back down in your parallel channel. Okay, then you break up from your parallel channel. Okay, breaking up from that parallel, and then that is a quick flip up to that daily resistance. Okay, so then we're seeing this. Let me view, show you all what I mean here. OK, so then we're seeing this key daily resistance that you have just wicked onto again and then you form a daily uh, swing, you know, a swing value pattern to the upside as well. So, the, you know, this is um, 
this is obviously nice. So what you want to see now is some sort of bull flag form for, you know, upwards continuation. Um, and obviously, Litecoin is like a lead indicator of Bitcoin. So this could be a sign of things to come. But I would say trade Bitcoin independently. But this in the past, if when Litecoin breaks upwards, Bitcoin does like to follow suit sort of shortly afterwards. So, um, yeah, this is an interesting sort of thesis, <laughs> I guess that one could say. Um, but, you know, that that has been happening in the past. So, yeah, definitely keep an eye on that. But, yeah, this, this forms a nice bull flag on declining volume. Then that's obviously given your opportunity to try and you know eventually crack this 1,000 you know 300 sat level okay which you can just see has been really really key support resistance region if not we're going to have to retrace down to you know your our, our standard fibs and 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 go again really okay and obviously the other one that I want to mention now is BNB which has been really really nice so um, yeah BNB has been like really really bullish obviously and the fact that um, you know. Bit, Binance is going to be releasing margin trading. This is massive, massive, massive. Whether they'll be running this through their Binance coin, I have not, not too sure. Obviously, I'm not a fundamental trader. Don't keep up with the news. I just trade the charts and that is it. But um, yeah, obviously, I can only imagine that this is going to be good news for BNB okay, and Binance in general. They, you know, they're going to be getting a lot more users, a lot more fees. Um, oh, apologies. I will need to take that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and wrap up the video. It's quite an important call. Um, but yeah, basically, that's what I'm looking at in terms of, you know, Bitcoin right here and, and BNB on and the alts. You know, they are looking, you know, fairly decent. And I would like to, um, you know, bring bring you back on that chart. So, you know, maybe one of you want to put on that parallel channel, trade that parallel with me. You know, that that's what I use to basically remove all sort of biases. And I'll just trade this, although I do have the bullish bias and I do would expect this to break to the upside. You know, I'm not sort of going to, you know, I'm never married to my opinions. I'm never married to my bias. I will just happily trade the charts. And if this breaks to the downside, then I'll short it, you know. But my bias is definitely to the bull side at the moment. Okay, undeniably, we're even even after this sell off that we're having here, it's even on the on the on the sort of micro still holding higher lows and higher highs. That is bullish. Okay, so take that what you will uh, i will trade it either way um but yeah that's what i wanted to mention there and what i would like to say is i have some like really interesting news so yesterday i done a seminar and this was like an educational seminar this was like had like the boardroom you know boardroom booked and i was in the boardroom and teaching people uh, how to trade and i really 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 enjoyed it OK, uh, and I'm like really hyped to do some more in the future, basically, like I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and it was a really good experience, good feedback. And uh, yeah, I, I honestly thoroughly enjoyed it. And I put obviously some like pictures, sneak pictures on, on Instagram, etc. And, uh, you know, a lot of comments of positive, like people like also wanting to get in, saying it looked cool. And, you know, I'm really, really happy with that. And I think that could be like a really big thing in the future. Like, I, I was really, really hyped and I thoroughly 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 enjoyed it um so yeah that, that was really cool and just another note on top of that uh is that yeah so i obviously done this post earlier saying whatever is the highest vote voted alt, um, highest voted altcoin i will upload to my instagram uh of a technical analysis and kind of like a, a setup for you all and it looks as if lux is going to win a lot of lux supporters coming in there from somewhere uh otherwise it was going to be mpsx but uh yeah, it looks like Lux has won with that amount of votes. So I will do a Lux technical analysis over on my Instagram. So, uh, you know, go and follow me over there if you'd like to get in on that call that I'll be doing. Um, but yeah, apart from that, yeah, thank you everybody for, uh, you know, the support. Always, always appreciated. I think everything is just going like really, really well at the moment. So that was, yeah, that was a bit about the... Um, when I was doing that seminar and it was, yeah, really, really cool. So, yeah, is it public or just for students? So it was like a p private one where it's, uh, just had some people contact me privately and said that they were like interested in me doing like a seminar for them. And I said agreed. And it was literally like organized two days ago and two days later I was doing it. So it was like really quick. Um, I don't know how I managed to have the time for that, but, you know, life is good. Life is busy. And, uh, yeah, hyped for this. Uh, the uh, Binance margin trading, that is honestly going to be a game changer right there. Margin trading, these alts is just going to be, like, you know, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Very, very, very excited for that. And excited for, in general, with, with the crypto space. It's, it's going very well. So, yeah, I'm uh, going to wrap up the video there. I do need to make that callback. So, hope you're all doing, honestly, very well. Hope you're all very pleased and very happy, like me, <laughs> as always. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>